We made it to the top, bro. One piece. The hardest part is over. As you can see, the first start of our adventure is right there. Here is the first part of this crazy adventure. When we get to the top, I'm going to tell you guys some history on this place. There's not much, but it's actually pretty interesting, and the views are incredible. Originally opened in 1902 and ended up closing in 1978 due to financial trouble, this Mount Beacon Gateway Railroad structure was originally built to bring people down from the Hudson River down below where we just started and bring this up bring them up the mountain to what was once a hotel and casino for people who had ventured up here on the railroad to come up here and enjoy the amenities that they have traveled so far to see. A couple of years later in 1982 this place was put on the National Registers, Register list of abandoned places and a year after that Apparently, due to vandals, or most likely, there's a fire at this place that ruined everything. So unfortunately, things don't last forever, but they always go down in flames somehow. Enough history on this place. Let's get let's get exploring. This place is awesome. So this is not my first time here. I've only been here once before, and um, that was a couple couple years ago but I'm back we're back filming a YouTube video and I love this place I'm with my buddy Dylan and you guys just saw that little structure we're gonna get more in the video soon but I'm gonna try to do more than talk to the camera I'm gonna try to show you guys more and try to guys keep you kind of interactive with the video so you can see more of what I'm seeing Dylan would you camp here overnight absolutely There's honestly not much to this place. There's that little abandoned building I'm gonna go back to in a second. Oh, somebody's ripping something. Let's see what they got. Yeah! They got dirt bikes. That seems sick. Damn, yo, I'd love to be sitting here gambling and sitting up here watching this view at the same time I'm losing all my money. This little spot right here, what's left of this building, is so cool. The way the orange works with like the orange leaves, this looks amazing. Let's check this out. This is cool. A little climbing on shit. So like I said, I came here before, but I don't like, remember exact day. I have to look back at like my memories and stuff. But we're trying to find, at this current moment in time, we're trying to find my name because I wrote my name in Sharpie on one of these these uh, pieces of equipment and I can't seem to find it. That's kind of odd because I, I, really, I remember that I put my name on one of these, these things and it's not there. So we're trying to find that. But uh, I'll put up some pictures of when I was here before. I came here in the summer, but also... It's really cool to come here in the fall because all the leaves are changing. It looks fantastic, but the summer photos look fire too. All right, guys. So I just looked all the way at my Instagram, and the last time I was here was about three years ago. It was September 11th, 2019, the last time I was at this place. So whatever I drew on one of those, whatever that was, the machines, it's probably faded by now. Somebody probably uh, drew over it, but it doesn't matter. I had the photos from when I went here, but now we're doing a video. So I'm just going to enjoy while we're here. But it's sick, like this orange graffiti with the, oh, it just looks sick. Yeah, how do you like this spot so far, bro? This is pretty cool. I Dude, fucks with it. This footage looks so good. I definitely like this place. This is really nice. Yeah. So I'm curious to see, because this place was a hotel and a casino. So I am curious to see if I search on the internet, if I can find like old time photos of this place when it was back up and running to do like side by side comparison to see Cause here was like the the structures and stuff, but we don't know which which. There's nothing there. So that would be cool to see, like when the structure is actually like fully built and operating till now. I gotta get the drone out, bro. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's exactly Holy that's shit. Like that. shit, dude! Look at that orange. Everything's just orange.
So honestly, this place is not really that big. The only really cool structure that's left here is that one we were just over at. And um, it's honestly, guys, it's just the views. I think people just come here for the views. Like you walk up the big mountain and then you just have this huge view. Like this, oh my God, it's, just, it's amazing. And there's like a 360 view. You can probably go all around this place to see all the views. It's incredible. He's trying to start the fire he made earlier. It is, it's gotten kind of cold up here right now. It is kind of rainy. There's a little bit of uh, raindrops coming down. But um, dude, this is a good day. It feels really good to be out filming again. I haven't filmed in like two months, but it feels good to be back. He should have yelled at for making a fire, that's mad funny. Fucking business, but damn. Literally, it's nothing itself as we speak, but that's the bad karma fucking killed me. Other than what we're at right now, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a fire tower all the way up there, and I have not been there yet, but it's probably another really far hike that we're not gonna do. That's quite a view. Alright, guys, we're about to head back down to the car, but honestly, this was a great adventure. A little bit of a short one, not anything huge and crazy, but it was just a great time to be had. It's a great day out, perfect day out, mad nice weather. Got the boys with me. Definitely agree. Dude, we had so much fun. Thanks for being in the video. Uh, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys on the next adventure.